Hello, sunshine. So, uh, the other day I was going to go post a picture and I find myself scrolling through hundreds and trying to find that one good picture that looks almost perfect, beautiful. And it got me thinking, we may agree or not, we are sometimes all about the appearance, how we are perceived by others, how we want to be seen and felt and experienced, especially in digital eyes. So for this reason, we consciously or unconsciously pre-choose and rearrange and repurpose and reconstruct our looks, our words and our writings to present ourselves in a certain, you know, packaged, lovely, savage and hopefully acceptable way that may arouse affection, admiration and social empathy in the eyes of others. Now, there are so many examples to this assertion, but a good one will be how we have hundreds of pictures in our phones like I described earlier but when we need to post we keep scrolling until we find the best one that we think looks good to us you know the picture that package you and may get you many likes comments algorithms you know if that's your aim so now this is the bold thing in all of this let's assume you decide to be courageous enough to allow your phone choose your photos through some AI or you just close your eyes and post the first picture in your gallery what will happen will it still represent who you are will it make you feel comfortable or vulnerable unliked or liked the truth is how the world sees you is not as important as how God sees you and how you see yourself no matter what you reveal are here and the pictures you decide to share the words you write or speak you know who you are and what you do in your closets so you cannot deceive God or lie to yourself now in that light let us continue to live well and live right in God's grace of course amen my name is Patty Nigerian born UK based creative expert and ethical content creator working in the intersections of art media technology and lifestyle. Here we go.